woke up at like 4.30 or something. I'm so sad. Rip all my streaks. I have so many different accounts. <laughs> I have like three accounts on here. It's gonna be such a pain in the ass to try and fix. What's up? Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jasmine, and I make a bunch of nursing videos, raving videos, health videos, and all kinds of vlogs. So don't forget to subscribe, and I'll link my socials right here for you. Most of my socials are at Jasmineers. If you haven't already followed me, don't forget to follow me. Today's video, I wanted to do a 24-hour challenge without social media. So because of with everything going on, I've noticed that my screen time has gone up quite a bit. I'm going to show you literally the statistics right here. I've gone up, I think the last time I saw it was like 25% in screen time than what I normally go on. So I looked on what I'm usually on, which you can kind of predict is obviously Instagram, Snapchat, and all those social media platforms. So in today's video, I want to film a 24 hour challenge where I go without social media. I think right now it can be really helpful to have social media, but having too much of it can obviously not be good for you as well. So that's why I wanted to take this 24 hour cleanse and kind of hopefully inspire someone else to do this 24 hour challenge. I took off Instagram, Snapchat. Um, I already didn't have Facebook on my phone. And then I also got rid of TikTok, I think. And then the platforms that I didn't consider social media were YouTube, Spotify, and then I think that's pretty much it. Because my main ones are Instagram and Snapchat. Those are the ones I use the most. I don't really use my Twitter that much. Um, usually I just use it for the news. So those are the restrictions. I started today, I think, at 5.30. So at 5.30 the next morning is going to be when I'm going to reinstall and I'll let you know how everything goes. through my phone and there's no snapchat So I don't really have a, say, um, journal, so 
So the way I'm gonna do this, every time I refill this water bottle right here, I'm gonna like, I don't know, like fill in one of these bottles. My goal is 10 refills of this. And this is a 24 ounce. And then this, I am gonna track how I'm eating because lately I've been like just eating whatever. So that's why I was like, trying to become more aware of it. So I'm gonna leave these here and then as the day goes on, I'm gonna like tally it. I'm like debating if I think that YouTube is technically a social media because technically for me it is because I post on it. I don't know, but I didn't take out YouTube from my um, phone. But I think I want to listen to this podcast on my walk. It's Kaylin's Coffee Talk. She's one of the YouTubers. She has a YouTube channel. But I wanted to listen to her podcast on how Bali changed me because she wanted this yoga teacher training. So I'm excited to hear about that. I think that'd be cool. started realizing that I was getting interest charged on my credit card was paying off my whole balance at every start of the month so I know it starts charging me I think every let me check If you just search your bank's name into the keywords, it'll like pop up. So I got charged interest on September 5th and on October 5th. The first like year I had my credit card, there was no interest fees, but then um, around the date that I started it, so after one year total, they start charging you. So I didn't realize that. So in September they charged me, I think it was like 20 bucks. No, 1647. And then I saw it again on October 5th. I got charged 1926 and I was like, where are these purchases coming from? And I finally realized it was the interest. So ever since then, I just have been paying it in full before every fifth of the month. So today is April 4th. So I paid it off so that they wouldn't charge me any interest. Otherwise, they would charge me like, I don't know, what is it, like 10% or whatever? I'm not like completely sure what it is because I haven't been charged in a while, but um, maybe it's like 5%. I don't really know, but it's a lot. Like imagine it was 40 bucks they charged me basically. So that's what I did. I paid it off this morning because I don't want to be charged for that. Um, I'm trying to be more like conscious of the way I'm spending because lately I haven't been like the best. So my goal for today is to read for number seven, but I'm not really good at it, so I'm gonna try to listen to this, and hopefully that'll be a good supplement. I've come to the realization that, oh my gosh, I don't know why it's not focusing on me. So I realized I was trying to follow this one YouTuber that I was watching on YouTube and I can't follow her because I don't have my Instagram and it's really frustrating because I will more than likely forget about following her later. So maybe when I edit this vlog later, I'll remember. Okay, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but so with the whole self-quarantine and self-isolation, everyone 
is saying to stay more connected but I feel like everyone is spending too much time online and using it almost as like a justification for being on the internet for hours and hours on end and it's not healthy for you to be on the internet for like eight hours a day it's a good way to stay connected so I agree with that but it's just really really like not good for your health to be on the internet for like eight hours a day and that's why i'm trying to like implement different activities here and there so that i don't necessarily rely on social media per se and just lay in bed scrolling through instagram or making tiktoks all the time because there's a lot more like productive things to do like for one i need to paint my nails because this is disgusting but you can also read um there's this class that I really want to take that I have been meaning to get to but I haven't gotten around to it so much on social media um so there's this company called real good that my friend just sent me and I'm gonna probably pop it up onto the screen over here and basically they're sending which is really nice of them to send packages to people who need them or people on the front lines who need like a pick me up I want to send it to my friend but like so the thing is okay I don't know what her Instagram hashtag is cheat and I go on there or do I text her and ruin the surprise and ask what's her Instagram handle okay so I'm just gonna use it for like two seconds okay I'm done now I'll get off Instagram we get, we're going walking they don't why not just casually wearing <laughs> when you find out mcdonald's is giving you a free mcmuffin <laughs> My nails are so bad. <laughs> What's our birthday? So if you can't tell, my favorite thing in this quarantine is wearing robes because then I don't have to wear pants. <laughs> Oh, it's a little bit bright. We also got some coffees. My favorite thing ever now is getting just the uh, Starbucks Pike coffee with cream. And if you're working in healthcare right now, they're giving it for free, which is nice. I think right now I'm just gonna chill out a little bit and just watch some videos or something. Is it working? Yeah, it works. Whoa. My Starbucks cup is like the perfect tripod stand. Okay, I'm taking my vitamins because I'm not trying to get sick. I think it, it feels dirty because of the food. So I filmed my intro for both my shuffle video and my... Um, well, this video and I'm like debating if I want to take off my eyelashes or not because I'm like I kind of like them on because it makes me feel like I'm not ugly but also they're a little bit uncomfortable so I don't know we'll see I really want to use the song get up by born dirty 
but it got copyrighted, so sad. But Alex did buy like a DJ box thing. I don't even know what it's called. Turntable, that's what it's called. So maybe he can remix it so that I can use it without getting a copyright. <laughs> It's like 2 p.m., 3 p.m. now, and I am getting bored. <laughs> I'm also on my fourth, oh well, now I need to refill it to make it my fifth cut. I already took my lashes off, if you can't tell. <laughs> No, it's just the same right here. I made this. Well, I didn't make it. I warmed up. The Let's do a taste test. So, it's the next morning. And I am downloading the apps again. And honestly. Okay, the biggest thing that I realized was I usually communicate with my friends via Snapchat, so it was weird not er, just texting them instead. And then also, when I was trying to like um, show Alex my breakfast that morning, let's see, I sent him like the video instead because I didn't have Snapchat. So... I feel like Snapchat is my biggest way to stay. Oh, what is that? Snapchat's like my biggest way of me staying connected. Instagram is just kind of like not like a big waste of time, but kind of. I just ended up sleeping at like eight because I got really, really bored. I think the biggest takeaway from this was that I was a lot more productive. I seem to have a lot more things to do. I think for me, it's really easy for me to keep busy, which is why I was able to go through most of this challenge. But another thing that I noticed was that a lot of these platforms um, that I was going on, like the website, they ask for your social media handles a lot, which goes to show that like our society is very heavily based on social media. I know even like some things that you apply for, they'll ask you how many followers you have which is like crazy to me, but yeah, I think it's a good way to cleanse and like get rid of a lot of like the negative energy because if you're constantly on social media, you're bound to find out like all the negative news and such. So that's why I think having just 24 hours to not go on social media, it's kind of a good refreshing thing to do. It's kind of difficult because of the fact that you get kind of bored obviously because we're in quarantine but i think there's like so many other things that you can do like reading or watching a movie i wasn't as bored as i expected myself to be so if you yourself try this challenge comment down below and tell me what you guys think because it was difficult at first but i think that and but i think after a few hours of doing it and just um keeping yourself busy it wasn't too crazy so don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts. I know this completely contradicts what this whole video is about. But when I do post, you should go and follow me. And I think that's pretty much going to be it for this video. And I will see you guys in the next vlog.